hello everyone uh, this is a quick video to show and uh, test that uh, if a VGT is properly working or not so for those uh, who are looking at this video right now would probably know already what a VGT is it's a variable geometry turbo and slightly operates in a different way than the regular turbos where it doesn't have any waste gate at all so uh, Without going much into description of how VGT works, I'll just focus on how to test a VGT turbo. So this is a VGT turbo out of Ford uh, territory, and uh, it is similar to that of uh, a Freelander. Um, I think that uh, no, it's not a Freelander. It's uh, this is called the Land Rover uh, Discovery 3 with 2.7 liter diesel engine. Uh, the same engine comes in uh, Peugeot vehicles too. So this one's out of a territory. Uh, it's the same 2.7 liter engine. Other VGT turbos would be similar to that. So the testing would be, uh, we'll be looking at three or four things in total. The first thing is that uh, whether there is any play on uh, intake or out, uh, you know, on the suction and exhaust uh, vanes. So you can just um, move them and wiggle them around. A little bit of play is normal. This one does not have uh, almost no play at all, even though it has around 230 gears on it but still no play at all i could hardly feel you can pull and push you can move it wiggle it sideways but you won't be able to see anything so similarly you can check check at the other end but if you won't be able to if you're not able to feel it in one end then probably you won't be it won't make any difference to the other one the second would be a visual inspection where you can try to see if there is any oil leaks uh, uh, in the inside if there's any oil leak then definitely needs replacement because the seals has gone bad so let's look at the inside I know the inside is good here yeah. okay and uh, the third test would be to see whether there is any wings that are broken or chipped off so if I look at them closely I can't see anything chipping off at the intake side and on the exhaust side uh, hold on yeah it's fine so th these tests are probably similar to that of a regular turbo now how to check the VGT function so there is a linkage here. Oh, hold on. Oh, sorry. It's a bit tough to hold around. So you can see that there is an electronic component to that which actually controls the actuator. It controls this um, the wings or the variable geometry of the turbo via uh, this linkage. So it, first of all, it should be smooth all the way uh, from uh, one end to the other end, and you can feel it. Yeah, this, this one's really smooth. But. Uh, and also you can see that uh, not only that it is smooth it's also working the linkage is properly playing there is not too much of play in here but uh, how should i know that whether the interiors of the turbo is working good uh, before removing the turbo you might want to have a look at it while the turbo is uh, engaged to uh, this part of the uh, the the connector is uh, attached to the engine and you can switch it on to see whether this thing moves in and out or not so usually with the switch on this thing will move in and out uh, to check the turbo before even the car is started so you can have a look at that and once the turbo is out what you can do is that uh, the reason I removed this turbo was that I was not getting any boost so I thought probably the turbo is bad when I removed it looked okay but the last suspicion that I had was that probably this linkage when it goes to the inside of the turbo over there you can see uh, over here let me see uh, okay, this one. So where it actually enters the turbo housing. So probably it's it's bad from the inside. I mean, uh, how do I know that this thing is actually controlling anything from the inside? So one test of that could be you can... Uh, what you can do is that... Uh, hold on, let me put it in a better position. So, okay, this is the position that we are going to use. So what I did is that... Uh, I put some oil in it you can't see it it's gone down and some of them are drained away but anyways just to be on the safer side because I'm going to reuse this turbo I just put some oil in it it's not going to take much so what you need to do is that use a normal hair dryer and uh, push air through here okay and to the inlet uh, of the exhaust and the air will come out from here on the other end you will get compressed air from here so what we will be doing is that we will we're trying to have a look at this particular end and see 
that how does or what's the speed of rotation for this one when we manually wiggle the linkage over here that's the linkage yeah this linkage when we manually wiggle the wiggle, wiggle the linkage from one extreme to another and see how does the rotation uh, works so it's really hard to show you but let me see let me put it on one extreme okay so it is on one extreme now uh, my hair dryer is at a minimum setting oh. mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, since there's no exhaust, <laughs> it's really difficult. So there was no exhaust, so it wasn't moving. So let me put it sideways. Okay. Now I'll have to show you from here. Now I'm going to put some air from here, which will come out from the exhaust, and this thing should start spinning. So now I'm going to blow the blow some air into the inlet of the exhaust and then I'll try to vary the actuator and see uh, if it changes the rotational speed of the compressor. Now I'm increasing the speed. Now the actuator move arm is going to move out now. Now it's going to go in again. Now it's going to move out. So yeah, um, I mean, uh, it was really difficult to capture it on camera, the speed of uh, uh, the compressor where it's changing due to uh, the movement of the actuator vane but uh, you can actually see it in person and uh, apart from that uh, you can audio, uh, you can also hear to the changing sound of uh, uh, the hair blower that it actually try to exert that pressure and the feedback that the resistance it gets from the changing vane conditions so yeah the, both of these tests the audio and the visually you can see the changing actually confirms that the vein inside is working so yeah the uh, compressor is totally fine this one has to go back in thank you